Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6. We are still exploring the area east of um, Almaria and we are about to head into these ruins. Fort Halodon ruins that are apparently being occupied by these crazy herb eaters and scribane producers. Um, although I guess I kind of just squeezed past to this little a bit right north of the river, north of Almaria, where there's apparently an orchard. You're at the edge of an orchard, one of the sources of the fruit Almaria uses to make its fine wines. Ah, okay. I had been wondering, actually. So it's so they're not making f uh, mushroom wine like everyone else. I mean, kind of, I guess, because everything is fungus down here. Right? All the vegetation, obviously. Um, but it's at least fruit of tree-like fungus. As opposed to just mushrooms? <laughs> I don't know. Um, with food being in such scarce supply, you would imagine that they had a lot of problems with thieves. Then you catch a glimpse of one of the guard dogs stalking the tall fungus. It is instantly very clear why this orchard has no problems with thieves at all. Oh. Surely it knows to distinguish between thieves and loyal protectors of Vernum, right? So I'm not particularly interested in stealing fruit, per se. Just want to look around. Healing herbs. Keep out. Vine walls. Vine, vine walls, yes. Vine vaults are heavily trapped. Uh, I don't have to. I don't want to have to mop your bits up, Druella. Okay. So there's a person here tending to the place. I don't know why I thought that it would just be completely left to itself. Left to the care of those. Uh, guard dogs. Is it going to be hellhounds, actually? I guess maybe we'll find out. Hello. You enter the wine storage tunnel. It is cool and dry, and cas casks of aging wine stretch off into the shadows. For some reason, you start to feel very nervous. All of this valuable wine seemingly unguarded. The sign ahead warns of traps. It might be wise to believe it. Right, this is also, of course the northern part of this tunnel here that I have been wondering about, so I would very much like to explore. So, of course, I will, despite any warnings. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to mention, um, there is currently construction work going on right outside my window, and if that seems familiar, yes, um, that has been going on for months now. Uh, it started a while ago on the opposite side of the street, which, uh, you know, and... I mean, it's a few meters further away than it is now, and it was mind-numbing, mind well, not mind-numbing, uh, just deafening, I guess, at times, when they were literally drilling into the ground, into the asphalt of the street to break it open. Um, and, well, now it's a few meters closer. It's literally right underneath my window right now, and every, I don't know, half an hour or so, they move, move forward a little bit and start over again. So it's very possible that it might start any moment, and it's probably going to be so loud that I have to... Pause recording, just so you know. So yeah, that's that's fun. Oh, okay, we connect right here, and that's that. That mystery solved, I guess. It's just, hmm. I mean, it doesn't really explain anything. I mean, you'd think that's that this could be just an official tunnel used to move the uh, the wine from the Almaria wine yard orchard to Almaria itself. And I guess it was, because, yeah, this tunnel actually leads directly to Almaria, or used to, until it was walled off, for reasons. I don't remember if, when we first entered this place, I mean, there were traps here, and there was this one dead body, but I don't remember if there was any kind of message popping up explaining any of this. Giving any, any hint as to why this situation exists. I mean, there's no visible opening mechanism to that gate. There's, why was this place trapped? Why did someone try to sneak through there and got blown up? Who knows? It's all a bit mysterious. Hello? Oh. I mean, there are fruits. I could take them. It's not even... It wouldn't even be technically stealing by the, you know, according to the game's mechanics. Also, I completely forgot that I wanted to do some selling in between episodes. That's a thing I forgot. That's fine. 
The stone you just stepped on makes an ominous clicking sound. You hear stone grinding on stone behind you and then snarling. Oh. Okay, we opened something. Huh. I mean... Sure, let's deal with it. Whatever it is. It's rabbit hellhounds. Okay. They're kind of tanky, but not too bad. Uh, okay, there is a bunch of them. They are probably capable of ranged attacks, if I had to guess. Hmm. They're kind of tanky, so... Armor reduction it is. Oh, yeah, you get to attack twice. That's... That's good. Um, I'm gonna save your special attack and hope that you will just kill the thing. You did. Good job. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's... Oof. No, it attacked twice. Why did it attack twice? Why right? can't everything... Literally every enemy in the game attack at least twice? Almost as if they realized that without that ability, most of them wouldn't be that scary. Or I guess without that, they would have to be tuned so that each individual attack that they're capable of can deal, you know, damage that is threatening to a character. Like they would have to be able to hit, you know, 50 damage and upwards with a single attack in order to be a real threat. And instead, they attack multiple times for like 20 to 30 or so. But then again, well, I don't know. It's. Um. I guess not, not literally every enemy does that either. It just feels like it sometimes. Anyway, will we be able to deal with it? Maybe. It is a little bit rough though. Okay, now they, they also decided to all stay back there for some reason. Not caring about us at all. Okay, it is just for them. Yeah, I mean, I guess I knew that. Don't know why I thought that it might be more. Okay, no second attack for you this time. Surely if I click on this enemy, you will have no other choice but to walk straight to that tile. Right? You're not going to disappoint me here, AI. No, you didn't. Good. And they attack. Okay, they have split their attacks a little bit. That fireball... No, they can't even breathe two fireballs. They didn't do that before. Earlier. So it's that's also random, I guess. I mean, I, I have absolutely no idea why I'm even doing this. Can I even open this door? Yes. It was locked, but I can open it, and this is just... Okay. There's, there's gremlin wine and normal wine that I'm okay to take, and two bottles of Almarian wine, which I would be stealing. Because those have name tags on them. This is property of so-and-so. There's also a bunch of money, which is just free to take. This makes no sense. Oh, what? Speed elixir. I thought you had those. No, you don't. Of course you have those, right? I only found one of those recently. You know what? Screw it. If I'm going to fight these things, I might as well take the wine. I need six bottles of that, according to my list. Although I've already used one. Yeah, my list says I need six, but I did use one of the bottles that I happen to have uh, to bribe that trainer. Uh, that was just last episode too, right? Yeah. Um, and that seemingly was also where I used um, the piece of meat that the list mentioned. So presumably, possibly, I only need five more bottles for some other quest and no more meat at all, but I guess I might as well be played safe and still have six bottles and one piece of meat on me, just in case somehow those things weren't included. <sighs> anyway, well, we're obviously going to have to deal with the, the hellhounds. Do I trust the RNG enough to save here? I guess yes. Yes, I do. That, that combat seems possible. They aren't individually that hard to kill. And there's the drilling again. Kind of wish I could do could could quickly test just how strongly that comes across on video. I mean, it, it must be very audible. Everything's literally vibrating. At least um, the microphone has this this vibration dampening um, thing going on. So that's good, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, this is very very loud and kind of distracting. <sighs> 
I guess I'll just pause and wait. It's not gonna take forever. Okay, sorry, as you can almost certainly hear, it's still going on, and it's just been going for, I don't know, upwards of five minutes now, That's which is longer than I think it ever was. And I have no idea how long this is gonna keep going, but I just, I'm just kinda sick of waiting. I actually started playing um, again. I <laughs> wanted to see just how this encounter would go, and you know, I fi figured I'd get it mostly done and then include the rest, and I guess that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so yeah, I, I ho just hope you can still hear me. Hey, hello, can you hear me? I, I'm, I'm guessing that you probably can. Sorry if this is annoying, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like sitting here and just waiting until I can record again. Anyway, so we, um, when we rounded the corner, one of the Hellhounds was outside, so we could kill that one by itself, uh, safe and easy. And then the next one was right here, and we killed that one, and we got only shot a little bit. Uh, Xaz actually was down to like single digit hit points, so that was exciting. Um, Hawk was also shot once. I just cast Acid on this thing, which is just about the most useful thing I can do, I guess. Unless I can do this and maybe... Oh yeah, I can hit the other one that must be hiding there. Well, now we know for sure that it is. Um, you should be able to kill this one. Well, almost. I don't know why the AI decided that it needed to go there to attack, because it could have attacked from one tile further away. You know, thankfully action points worked out that way. Can we heal? We can absolutely heal independently of line of sight. I guess I kind of knew that, but it's nice to have that confirmed. I'm not going to walk you into that room. Well, aim blow, come on. Okay, that was enough. And finally, this is done. I mean, this is literally the first encounter after I saved here and paused the recording, so it's, it's not like it took very many attempts at all, thankfully. Um, oh, and they were guarding absolutely nothing. I mean, they, oh, did I say absolutely nothing? Holy crap, okay, now they stopped. Jesus. The best thing is when something in my room, several things, I, I think including the window panes, start vibrating, you know, um, adjusting to the frequency of the, of the whatever this, it is they're doing. I don't know if they're still drilling or if they're literally sawing through the asphalt layer or something. They're just, like, sawing chunks out of the road. It's, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I mean, otherwise I would be, normally I would be fascinated by the machinery at work and, and whatnot, but, you know, when you're trying to record a, um, a video or just generally relax and do stuff, <laughs> it's it's not that great. Anyway, uh, um, yeah, God, what, what was I saying? I'm already being distracted, right? So we just looted this place uh, for reasons, I guess, because we wanted the wine very badly. We dealt with some of those, some of the hellhounds. And this, I guess, is the uh, the farmhouse. Hello. Is anybody home? I know there were warnings. Hello, Aldea? You're not the person whose name was on this on the sign, are you? The woman in the bedroom is very annoyed. What are you doing? I didn't invite you in here. Get out, get out, get out! Y you leave. Uh, actually, the game says we do, but... You know, okay, let's, let's actually leave. It's, yeah, it's you, Druella. That's right. Uh, there is an unarmed woman. That's good. Good to know that she's unarmed. Um, I like that in people I meet. Uh, there's an unarmed woman looking after this small winery. Though considering the hellhounds patrolling outside, which we haven't actually seen, you don't have to ask how she can feel safe out here. She watches you suspiciously as you enter, neither nervous nor pleased to see one of her firm soldiers. Welcome to our humble winery, she says. I'm Druella. To what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from one of Avernum's warriors? Uh, let's just ignore her question and start asking questions of our own. How are things going out here? How, how are things going out here, rather? Poorly. All of my time goes to defending what is mine from looters. <clears throat> yeah, looters. A real problem these days. And instead of making wine, the fruits of my trees makes very poor food, sour and not nourishing, but that does not stop the hungry. I mean, I, I guess it wouldn't. Poor fruit is still better than nothing to eat at all. However, we do not need help from you or anyone. Okay. Um, what do you do when looters come? Usually I don't get to see them. The hounds are trained to snarl before they attack. They usually wait as long as ten seconds, then they kill. Looters learn pretty quick. They stay away. You don't need anything nasty cleared out of your basement? 
Only yourself, she says pointedly. Wow, point taken. Um, I mean, good thing we're already done with the place. I would like to buy some wine. Alas, I do not trade with thieves, no matter what insignia they wear. I have to ask you to leave. Good day. Wow, how, does she actually know that we stole from her? Because that makes no sense. How will she know that? Does she have security camera cameras in her in her cellar? I triggered your trap downstairs. Why would we just tell her? Apparently she already knows. And I suspected you would. I honor our soldiers, but your sense of entitlement can be disturbing. But I would not be foolish enough to act against any of your lot. So I simply must ask you to leave. Good day. Uh, I mean... So would she normally... She would normally sell us the wine if we hadn't just happened to, to find the stairs to her, her basement at first? And did what we just naturally do, which is explore. <sighs> now, now I'm really annoyed. I'm, obviously, I didn't even really want the stuff in the first place. I mean, I didn't really, really need it. I just took it because I was there and killed the monsters because they were there. And now the game is... I mean, the game isn't even really trying to be very clever here or, you know, making me feel about things. It's just... I just happened to to find that place first. Not that I know that I would want to. That I would have wanted to buy the the wine from her, because that's probably kind of expensive, considering they're already worth a hundred as it is. Uh, should I just start the entire episode over and just never go down there? Well, not never going down there is not an option. I guess what really the problem is really just triggering the trap, which doesn't even mean that you necessarily steal anything. You just stumble into that particular child, awaken the hounds, kill them, I guess, in self-defense. And I'm assuming as soon as you do that, even if you never take the the, the wine from the actual storeroom, uh, she will still call you a thief. Because the game... I don't know... I don't think the game has any way of knowing that you've actually taken an item. It it can only keep track of you hitting a trigger like that. like the Like the trap. Do I really care enough? You know what? Honestly, I don't. Screw her then. Obviously, she would have... Maybe she would have sold bottles of wine. Hello there, Hellhound. Okay, so they're not immediately hostile. That's good. Do they actually snarl at me and give me a warning, though? Hmm. Surely there's got to be something here for me. No? Maybe not, actually. I didn't see any digging spots. I didn't see anything on the ground. Okay. Also, I'm really surprised that the dogs, hounds, have not actually attacked me. Huh. Yeah, anyway, so... Presumably she would have actually sold me some wine, potentially, but... Probably for more money than I would have wanted to spend and, you know, whatever. And she has every right to be angry. Can't really blame her at all, but also, I don't really care enough to just start over. I'd like to sell something. Yeah, let's just get that over with. Oops. Yeah, it's both of those, all of those, and all of these. And bam, that's, well, less money than I expected, to be honest, but I'll take it. Okay, and now the bags are empty again, and the energy bar is full, just as things should be. And now we can start dealing with real enemies. Okay, which apparently includes spiders. Exhaust must have been extremely close to leveling up, so I can't imagine that these spiders are worth a whole lot of experience. Oh, hey! Interesting. These are in fact so low level that they are s uh, slower than Hawk. So... That can actually happen. Alright, we get some random loot from this unfortunate person. Okay, we get another underground access here. Is this already... Are these already the ruins of Fort Haladon? Oh, hello there. 
Oh, okay, they saw me. It's fine. There are several armed people here, uh, armed people on the road. They look like brigands. They wield crude armor and weapons and bear the standard dumb, cruel expression. Ah, yes. Telltale signs of brigands everywhere. They size you up as you approach. They decide that attacking Evernight soldiers would be, even by their standards, stupidly suicidal. Okay, that's smarter than 99% of my enemies. Good job. They turn and walk back into the fort. Ah, so this is not the fort. This is just some random abandoned farm. Makes sense. Hey, hey, guys. Wait. I mean, they're called friendly. Quote, unquote. I wonder if I could have forced them into combat. I mean, I kind of can. I can't really catch up with these people. But right now the gates are open, right? Surely the idea is that they would have... That they would continue running away and close the gates behind them. And then I would have would have to find some sort of sneaky way in. But wouldn't it be theoretically possible? In fact, I mean... Surely by doing this, I can sneak someone in. There's nothing physically stopping me. That's, oh, they're actually turning hostile and, and, well, actually, <laughs> they're still friendly. Wait, they're friendly, they attack their friend. I didn't even realize what was going on. <laughs> that's, that's wild. Okay. That's actually kind of funny. No, you're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're totally fighting their friend now. Wow, that's crazy. The AI was not prepared for this. Um, and I love it. Okay, a fireball on this person, actually. There you go. The betrayal. First they nonsensically started betraying their friend. And then they were immediately betrayed by me. Now they've turned hostile, okay. Um, can you... <laughs> there it is, wrong button again. Okay, we shoot you. I, I mean, I, I do wonder if... Okay, now now they're actually coming, yeah? Scrimbane Eater. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm just assuming that they would have all turned hostile eventually, right? It's not like they like they weren't hostile, they were just too smart to attack me um, just with just the three of them out on the road. But surely, as soon as I entered some other way, they would have all been hostile. So, you know, there's no need to feel bad, hopefully. So these still aren't hostile. Yeah, they're kind of kind of kind of confused about who to attack now, I guess. I thought maybe they would they would either start attacking us now. Or attack the one brigand who's still hostile. Maybe these scribbling eaters are just trying to, to just trying to flee. I mean, technically, we don't really need to punish the the addicts, right? Can't see the target. Are you sure? From there, from here, perhaps. Okay. It would be enough if we just stop the uh, you know the scribbling growers and producers. And dealers. Ah, you enter the ruins of what was of what was once small. What? What was once a small Evernight fortress? There it is. Um, now the crumbling buildings, or at least the ones that are still barely standing, have been occupied by squatters. There is a heavy smell of rotting garbage. As you enter, you realize that this isn't your usual desperate refugee camp. There are guards with crude armor and old dented weapons. They look at you with undisguised loathing. Uh, yeah. That happens to be the case when you're actively fighting someone. Um, and the other people here, the unarmed ones, look thin, exhausted, and close to panic. A lot of them have have green smudges around, their, around the mouth. You get the impression that being weak and unarmed wouldn't keep them from attacking you. Instead... Uh, in fact, that is exactly what's going on, though. Unless they are going to change their mind and uh, come back for us. But, um, well, this is not a friendly place. The Great Cave must be short on soldiers indeed, if they tolerate this pit being here. 
And surely this is not the way this was supposed to go, right? I mean, clearly they were intending to head in and, and close the gates. And I wonder if the game really has a uh, scenario prepared for for what's currently going on, or if it's just playing the same message that I would have normally played elsewhere. Hmm. I mean, it, it sounded like you know, like a greeting that made sense for uh, to to get when as we step through the main gate. We just did. Okay, Eldon Briggins. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for perhaps some sort of uh, leader that might have uh, been non-hostile and talked to us if we had somehow entered differently. If we had not just started fighting, you know, without asking any questions first. Oh, I did not expect that guy to survive. Thankfully, these are kind of tanky, but not particularly dangerous. Fifty-three, not bad. Oops. Okay. There are more scribbling eaters. Okay. Let's uh, head inside. Make sure everyone's within the gates, just in case. Just in case they uh, are still going to close. Hmm. Okay. More brigands. Rolling blow. I could have done with one with you, but apparently I didn't need to. Okay. Is combat finally going to be over once we deal with this person here? Nope. You look special. Uh, Chrysander. Yes, I guess you're the boss around here. Right, we have two level ups now, which I should absolutely be taking care of. Also, I... Obviously, because of the way this whole thing started... Oh god, hello there. Korga. Um, because of the way this whole thing started, or I started this whole thing, uh, we don't have any buffs going, so maybe now is a good time to take care of that. Uh, let's see here, 11 points. Ooh, okay. Which means we are... Free to level up anything we like, including even main stats. Hmm. I mean, I guess we still need a bunch more melee weapon skill, right? Dual wielding is actually super cheap. Hmm. I guess I knew that. Yeah, right, but this one is also... It's only hit chance increase. Okay, melee weapons. Sure, let's get that to level 10. And I guess nothing else for now. As for you, we have tool use where we want it. We, uh, I mean, we have 10 and pull weapons, but we could always have more. So I think, obviously more quick action. Yeah, let's just save the points for now. Um, let's see here. Korga is significantly less tanky. So we're gonna start with you, I guess. Okay, Chrysander cast haste on the two of them. Good thing we seem to have dealt with the majority, if not all, of the uh, regular brigands around. So this should be kind of manageable. Nice double attack there. I like it. Uh, I don't like where your hit points are at. Okay, nice. I'm going to increase armor. And though hopefully the fight is not going to keep going for that much longer. That was a pretty heavy hit, though. Okay. Um, fireball? Eh, decent. Maybe I should have cast acid on them. Not Cassandra, though. 
Okay, I'm gonna summon. That's fine, we can break your armor. Very questionable pathfinding again. Strong heal on you. Okay, now we do spray acid. Can you please walk there? Thank you. Well aimed blow, come on. Eh. At least we got the double attack. Okay. They have spine shield and regen, which is annoying. Yep, that, that hurts a lot. Hmm. Let's do a smite just to get some damage in that's not going to be retaliated against. Maybe I should have just shot an arrow, honestly. I expected that to be a bit more impactful. Fireball? Only one. Okay. Oh god. The two individual attacks both triggering the retaliation damage is really rough. The problem is that the summoned insect thing here also uh, has the spines going. I guess the lizard doesn't. We could attack this one safely. Somewhat safely. Don't really like where our hit points are at. This is not great. Uh, do we have any attack spells? I mean, we could always try throwing point blank javelins. They're just not gonna hit though, is the thing. Could use uh, disruption wand, I guess. No, that's just repel spear. Never mind. They don't have anything, any regular offensive spell items. I mean, that's. Huh? That animation looked so weird. Has it always been that jerky? I don't know. Um, yeah, that was a miss. 1%. Is that a 1% hit or, or miss chance? Who knows? I'm gonna heal you. Ouch. Holy crap. Okay. Get some damage in on all of you guys. Huh? Weakened. Okay. Weakened and cursed. That's just lovely. Um, heal and will aim shot. Nineteen damage, I guess, better than nothing. What is the most damaging thing we can do? Maybe it's just a fireball. Twenty-four. Well, two fireballs are. Decent. 34 there. Yeah, the acid is doing some good work. Take out that thing. He summons something new immediately. Great. Yeah, honestly, probably just step there and attack the Hellhound. And you try to keep everyone healthy ish. Okay. More curse and weaken. Yeah, it's starting to show some effects now. Kill that thing. You heal her. Oh god, that was a pretty heavy hit right there. You're down to 100 hit points exactly. There's no way of knowing if uh, the if the acid is still active. I guess just to be just play it safe, I could renew it like that. Come on, while in blow, finish it. You didn't even finish it. Jesus, she's only down to 40, what, 47 health. Oh, she is regenerating, isn't she? Or he, why, why did I say she? I don't know, presenter? Yeah, I don't know. Um, they are regenerating. I guess that is safe to say. Dang it, dude, whatever, drink a potion. I guess you also drink a potion. And... Uh, don't do anything else. Actually, throw a javelin and miss. Come on. Well-aimed arrow. 21 damage. 
Fireball. Please. Second fireball. There we finally go. Holy crap. Now that thing is still... Spiky. I think, as indicated by the little sparkles floating around it. Okay, we actually hit. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Thank goodness. Holy crap. And we recover... Well, yeah, I suppose we have been... I don't know, we have actually not been in combat for that long because we briefly were out of combat. So I'm honestly surprised that we recovered as much as we did in terms of hit points. Okay, anyway, that was annoying. Um, but I suppose, considering we did not start that combat uh, on, uh, you know, very favorable favorable turns, terms, rather, uh, as in we didn't start um, buffed up and everything, that was still pretty good. Um, yeah, but Spine Shield is really such a such a showstopper. I mean, it, it basically disables your, your melee attackers, which are typically going to be, I, I guess, by far your most damaging characters. So that's really rough, taking that away. Anyway, Duelist Gloves, two to repost, fatigue removal. Um, why do those seem so familiar? I mean, I guess there must have been items like that in the past, but I could have sworn we've seen something like this in this game, but I guess not. Or else I probably would have it still. I mean, they're not very protective, I guess, as you would guess. Um, three armor, as opposed to five. Energy resist, stun resist. Hmm. These are still slightly bulky. Oh yeah. No, we found these somewhat recently. Decided to give them to her. And these are what she had before. So basically... I mean, 3% stun resist and 2% fire resist are very negligible, I think. Um, the bulkiness doesn't really matter all that much at this point. We've really stopped having to worry too much about hit chance, at least against the enemies we've been fighting, which we probably vastly outlevel, to be honest. Uh, so it might start playing a bit more of a role as, we, as soon as we find something more high level to, to uh, you know, bash our head against. Uh, six armor versus only three, though. I mean, honestly, it's also really not a big deal. Didn't he have something with repost on it, or did I get rid of that? Because, yeah, maybe actually she, ha uh, maybe he had something similar, like a weaker version. Surely not the same kind of item, but maybe a, something with just one point of repost. Pretty sure he did at one point have that, and I replaced it because, well. Repost really doesn't do much. But this seems like too special an item not to use, so, you know. We're gonna use it. Did this guy drop anything? Interestingly, we're not allowed to take these things. Which I obviously don't really care about. Girdle of Endurance. Um, you have one of those. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need that, though. Definitely don't need a second one. All right. Now, actually, before I keep exploring, if I had let these guys just run away and presumably close the gates on me, what would I have done? Okay, that's all I, I missed here, which is basically nothing. Is there even some back entrance to this place? Actually, there, there might not be. Maybe they never would have closed the gates. Maybe their plan all along was just, just to lure us in so that they wouldn't have to fight us with just the three of them, but with all of them combined. Also, there is this place. Never mind. Maybe this leads to some underground access tunnel. Or maybe just more spiders. Well, either way, we should explore this. Well, I was going to explore this until I... I guess I forgot about it, no, I, I, I think that's when I just ran into those those brigands. And that's, uh, you know, when that series of events started. Okay. 
Didn't there Aeneas used to be these super scary enemies at, at, at some point? But I don't know, they're, they're somehow not. I seem to remember them being kind of endgame, mid to endgame type enemies that were kind of scary. But I've started encountering them. I mean, I've encountered the first one, I feel like, a, a long time ago. Definitely still in the Great Cave, obviously. So, yeah, and now they're they're basically just barely stronger than the normal cave spiders. Are we still in combat? Oh, I guess we are. Wait, there's a wolf. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, we pick up all of these things, I guess. Group heal. Spine shield. Alright, there's a body of... A mage of some sort? Oh, Arania's silk tunic. Okay, I guess the Arania didn't like that person wearing a tunic made from their silk. Although... Hmm, I don't know. Would that make sense? Energy potion... Um, there, you can have that. Leather pants... Oh, oh. my fingers were off on the keyboard, that's why things felt weird. Um, there, leather pants actually sell for something, surprisingly enough. Ernia silk tunic, let's actually look at it. It's uh, not really that great, it's just some fire resist and that's it. Yeah, that's really bad, surprisingly. Okay, further proving that Ernia just aren't what they used to be. Kinda sad. That's it, right? Yeah, not really sure what was going on, why there's a this pentagram summoning circle. Maybe this was a mage obsessed with Arania, and they made this little, I don't know, underground summoning cave and summoned Arania. I don't know, do you have to summon Arania? Do you... Are they magically created from normal spiders that are somehow made more intelligent? Or are they a naturally occurring species, subspecies? I feel like at one point we got some actual Arania lore. We almost certainly did. Oh, either way. Why is this stuff marked as stealing? Hmm. I mean, even with places that are that start out friendly, but are, you know, either guaranteed or very likely to turn hostile at some point. Um, loot like that is typically already marked as not stolen. Even while the place is still friendly. And in this case, I mean, I can't imagine that even if we had talked to this Chrysander person... Well, that probably would have been a conversation with them before everyone started, everyone turned hostile and attacked us, right? I mean, we can all agree on that. Chrysander's office. Um... Anyway, sun says keep out, we pick the lock, there's a trap that we can easily disarm. And this stuff is free to take, no, except for the Scribane, which I guess... No, we've definitely seen Scribane, which, is, which, was not, which was not stolen, so, I don't know. There was obviously also nothing particularly special in there, only like two bottles of Scribane. Then, surely that's not their, their only storage, right? Unless I was misled about this place, about the nature of this place in the first place. Surely not, though, right? I mean, clearly they were actual brigands, and there was some actual scribbing, just not really a whole lot of it. Um, doesn't seem like there was much of a drug operation going on here. Uh, what's this place? The barracks, okay. Can I please click on that chest? Okay, weird. I couldn't click on it while I was behind the corner. Mm. Some boots. Okay, let's take a look at the actual office here. Okay, there's a little bit more scribbing. And some money. And a lot more scribbing. Okay, never mind. So they had a decent amount of the stuff stashed away here. Okay, another locked door that we unlocked. And more scribbing and more money. Okay, okay. 
This is all starting to look a lot more like uh, a drug baron's place. Oh, there are three stairs down. Interesting. Another locked door. Oh, please just walk there. What's up with this place? More scribbling. Okay, there is there is a lot of this stuff. Maybe that's where it's where it's grown or processed or something. No. Buttons. No buttons. Maybe there's oh there's a button there. I think I can just barely make it out. Let's quickly look here though. Yeah, clearly this is where they're where they've been growing the stuff. Oh, there was a door. Almost missed that. And more scribbing. And even more. Ooh, and a piercing crystal. Finally some decent loot. And some herbs, some non illegal herbs. Come on, let's I keep forgetting that. The uh, um, mortar and pestle, right? That that item is actually worth something. I swear it wasn't. It used to be just worthless junk in some other game. Anyway, there. Hit that button. <laughs> okay. Hit a button. A very well concealed button. Opening a secret compartment containing the switch. Opening a gate in another section of the cellar. That is pretty convoluted, I gotta say. And this is where the actual office is, I guess? Is there another button hiding something more? No? Okay. Uh, spell ward. Right, you had those. Sparkling one. Why do you have a steel dagger in your inventory? I guess because I... Wait. No, why is it there? Uh, I probably just accidentally picked that up with you. Sparkling one. Strong days. Ah, yes. You have one of those already. I guess you can give one over to her for, you know, reasons. Let's just pretend that I might actually use it at some point. The money, a dagger, a gold necklace, and effectively just a lot more money. Okay, I think we're done with this place. Hmm. I mean, part of me is mildly curious as to what this Chris, 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 uh, Chris, Chrisania, Chris, uh, whatever, Christophorus, would have, would have said. But um, I mean, I can't imagine that it's anything other than the usual uh, taunts and maybe pleading for for his life or something. Well, probably not. But either way, I mean, they would have either just taunted me and attacked me right away, or tried to, you know, bribe me. What else could they possibly have done? I'm not really interested enough to, to actually reload and, and check it out. What I will do, though, is um, sell stuff, because there's a lot of junk. Mostly not very valuable, but it adds up. Uh, 14 bottles of Scribane. I trust you, random merchant, to uh, be responsible with it and, you know, do the right thing. Hand it over to the authorities or just burn it or something. Okay. Up to almost 11,000 gold again, which is nice. Were we supposed to tell you about this? Wait, <laughs> not you. Um, you. Yes. You report your defeat of the undead to the commander. Ah, yes, that, that too. Mm, you did well. I'm glad to not have to go there myself. I hate those half-living things. Here's the bounty promise. He gives you a large pouch of coins. Uh, 500 coins, in fact. Okay, nice. And also, no more scribane will be grown in the Fort Halidon ruins. I mean, maybe in the future, but not by the people who used to do it. Commander Hormar Hormarin, Hormarin, whatever, nods solemnly. As I always said, if you need a thing done, get a castle soldier. They are the best. Well, thanks, I guess. I am an archer. I know the value of such weapons. The mayor would want you, want you rewarded properly for your aid. I will get some of the best from our stores. She has a guard bring you a bow and a set of javelins. Okay, composite longbow. That might be better than what we have. It sure sounds like it should be. 
Uh, we thank you. Those who get the herbs get their herbs from that fort will have painful weeks or months, but one day they will be free and they will thank us. Well, that's the hope. Anything else I can do for you? She shakes her head. I would not take up too much time of, ca of a castle soldier. It will anger the castle, not wise. Uh, I'm sure they would be fine, but all right. Let's see here. Composite longbow, please. Oh, that is better than what we have, right? 8 to 16 versus 9 to 27. I'd say that's better. And, yeah, of course, this is also better than that. Not that you ever use your bow. Some fine lances, though. I guess I'll take those. Add those to the stack. Yep. They are pretty powerful, if you can hit with them. I guess this will just be sold. Yeah, there's no... No reason to equip my mage with a bow at all. And we do not have a follow-up, another smuggler tunnel quest. Which is also not what I expected, so that's fine. Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> Honestly, just a series of things that didn't quite work out the way that I expected them to. Like our little... Uh, visit to the wine, the, the the wine winery, winery, yes, just winery. Um, that went a little bit poorly, perhaps, or it left a bit of a bad taste, I guess. The same way that uh, the wine they produce probably does. And then Fort Held on Ruins, which, well, I suppose, obviously there, w there was no back entrance, so things are not what I what I thought they were, and probably wouldn't have played out very differently at all. Um, so, in the end, by attacking them early, shooting their backs, or just, I don't know, not shooting, I guess, but uh, attacking their backs as they were running inside, all I did was uh, start the fight on my terms, perhaps, and, and fight them a few at a time, as opposed to all of the, you know, basically surrounded by the guys, so I think I just did, I just made things easier for myself but not radically different, except that we missed out on whatever conversation would have been with their leader. But maybe that wouldn't have been any conversation. Maybe they would have just been hostile anyway. But uh, yeah, either way, maybe I'll explore that a little bit. You know, I could always, we'll see. I mean, I'm gonna end the episode here, obviously, and we're gonna move on uh, towards the Great Portal. Maybe just make a, Make a beeline for that place, just to get that out of the way, see what's what, pick up a couple more quests for the surrounding area. Uh, well, depending on how much of a settlement, I guess, there is, or, a, in a, you know, an outpost. Surely the place is going to be well defended uh, to keep all the people out that want that desperately want in. So there has to be some sort of fort built around it, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we'll just visit that first thing. Well, of course, there is a, a bit of a trip until we get there, so we might encounter a couple of things along the way that slows down so who knows what's going to happen next episode but that's the plan anyway um maybe in between episodes i'm going to reload and quickly head up to Heladon and see you know check out that conversation and if it's if it seems interesting enough i might include something some of it or include it on video but i don't really expect that to be the case either way you're gonna know Soon enough, I suppose. Um, for the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye. Um,